Imagine you wake up in the morning and you had a magic power. You turned one day into two, suddenly. So Monday became Monday and Tuesday. Tuesday became Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday became Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday became Thursday and Friday, etc. Over, over and over and over again. You woke up in the morning and did something. Well, I've been thinking about that an awful lot lately when I've been looking at my own performance, everything from workout, fitness, schedule, etc. And yeah, I'm still on the journey, obviously, right? I'm standing out in the snow with no shirt on. Why? It's good for my cardiovascular system. It's good for my brain space. I meditate out here. I do my Wim Hof. I come out post-workout, cool down quite a bit. I even get workouts done out here as well with my weighted mace, etc. But each one of these, you have to consider what's going to be the maximum output. I don't mean maximum output like you're going to hurt something or you're going to exhaust yourself or whatever it is. What's the maximum output? In other words, what are the four or five or six things that are my highest priority, absolute most important that I got to do? And then how could I cram them into a handful of hours in a day? And then what would happen if I take that? So let's say you started at 7 in the morning, worked till noon, took a break. And then you work from one till five, took a break. But at each one of those, you got the maximum amount of work done every time you did it. And when you worked out, instead of going, oh, shit, I got I to gotta dress up and I go to the gym and it's going to be an hour and a half or whatever. But what can you do at home? Can you do incline push-ups on the stairs? Can you get a weighted mace and come outside with a shirt on? Each one of these things starts to co build compound effects. So what if you had 15-minute workouts twice a day? Instead of going to the gym for 90 minutes and really working out for 30 or 45 minutes at a time. But they were very intensive. Do you think that create a difference? And what if every day you sat there and broke down your meals into smaller bits and pieces and really paid attention to some of your carbohydrates and your fat and your protein intake, up to protein intake? Do you think that might help with muscle building, etc.? What if you made sure you got proper rest on top of the nutrition? And what if your work day was seven at noon, one to five, but in each one of those pockets you did that? What would you do if in a week you got two weeks of work done? How different would life be in six months if that's what you did?